Hello, happy people. Welcome to our daily devotional scripture that encourages you to pray. Today, I've got on a brand new t-shirt for my son, John. He's going to be going to Concordia St. Paul. And, you know, that's one of the great things about being a dad of college-age students. You start getting even more t-shirts. So, today's my day off, and I got to go to the gym and work out. And I've got my new Concordia t-shirt on. So, I'm so happy about that. And uh, so, tonight, we're going to... For our devotion tonight, I thought we'd do something um, just kind of relaxed, and uh, but very important. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. And one of my, one of my favorite professors um, at the seminary, Jeff Gibbs, he says in his commentary on Matthew that Matthew 16, verse 24 is the heart of Jesus' ministry. Uh, let me read it for us, then we'll say a prayer. Um, Jesus says, Matthew 16, 24, uh, Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, there's three things here, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. So we're going to look at that. Denying yourself, taking up your cross, and following Jesus. Because this is this has been called the heart of Jesus' ministry, this teaching right here in verse 24. Uh, I want to say thank you to our social media team. You guys are a tremendous blessing. And um, I want to encourage everybody who uh, has any prayer requests, please use our prayer app, put your prayer requests. And we have 26 dedicated prayer partners. It's such a blessing. And they would love to pray with you and pray for you. So don't go through whatever it is you're going through alone. Let us walk with you and pray with you and care for you. Uh, so this bar heads forward to prayer. Father in heaven, we just thank you for today. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for the chance to exercise and to enjoy your creation. And Father, uh, we just thank you for your word, and we thank you for this chance to be in your word. All good things come through your word, Father. And so we pray, Father, now that you would open your word up to us, plant your word deep within us, um, nurture our faith, nourish us in our walk with you, that we would uh, bear the fruits that you desire, and that we would receive your blessings and share your blessings with others. Father, we pray these things in Jesus' name, according to your will and for your glory. And all of God's children, we all say, Amen. Amen. So, let me just read here, uh, sort of just to get the context here, Matthew 16. So, if you're uh, looking there at your Bibles, um, Matthew 16, starting verse 21. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem, suffer many things from the elders, chief priests, and scribes, to be killed, but on the third day to be raised. Hallelujah. And Peter took him aside. Peter took Jesus aside. You know, here's good old Pete. Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke the Messiah. Oh, Peter, Peter. And Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke Jesus, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me. And according to some research I did one time, the last time Jesus said that, that we know in Scripture is in Matthew chapter 4, I think it's verse 10, where basically Jesus says that to Satan, um, depart from me. So uh, Jesus says to Peter, get thee behind me, Satan, for you are a hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. And here comes the heart of Jesus' ministry. Then Jesus told his disciples, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And I, I want to stop there. So those three things, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Jesus. So how, how are we doing at this? You know, denying yourself. You know, um, we all have a long ways to go in that, right? Because we don't always put God first. Uh, we don't always deny ourselves. And uh, there's, there's countless ways that, uh, if we're just honest about it, that we fall short of the glory of God when it comes to this. So uh, it just says, let him deny himself. Let him uh, take up his cross. So what does it mean to take up the cross? Well, I'm going to tell you. It means to be a witness in this world. That's what it means. To pick up your cross, it doesn't mean put some jewelry on. Uh, it doesn't mean get a tattoo. Uh, it doesn't mean get a decal for your car. No, it means being a witness, living out your faith, sharing your faith with other people, picking up your cross, and following Jesus. This is let him take, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And what's interesting, and Professor Gibbs points this out in his commentary, is that the first two are aorists, so basically past tense. Um, 
the, the third one is present tense. So if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself. That's something that you have to have had done to, to, to be following him and take up his cross. Okay, so that's something, again, something you have to have had done and follow me. That's present. So that is ongoing. That's continuous. That's right now, today, this afternoon, this evening, whenever it is you're watching this video, right now to be following Jesus. Now, it's interesting to me because Jesus is is kind of kind of kind of harsh here to to Peter. I mean, he's pretty he's pretty straightforward. Um he needs to be. <clears throat> you know, he, he turns and he says to Peter, "Get behind me, Satan." Now, that's quite a rebuke. But he's not casting Peter out. He's not throwing Peter out of the company. He's not saying, Peter, you will have no part in me. You'll have no part in this ministry. You'll never be a preacher or a teacher. You'll never be an apostle. You'll never be a missionary. He, he doesn't say that. He says, get behind me. Now, he does call him Satan, but look at where he puts him. I think this is important. He says, get behind me, right? And then, because then look at the heart of Jesus' ministry, verse 24. Then Jesus says to his disciples, if anyone would what? Come after me. So if you're coming after Jesus, you are coming around where? Behind him. That's exactly right. So Peter's problem is that he is in the way of Jesus. You just say, no, don't, don't, don't get in my way. That's no, you need to get behind me. And then he says to all of them, to, and to you and I today, if you would also, if you would come after me, here's the three things. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. And, you know, um, and so let's look at Peter and let's remember that, that Jesus came to reconcile us into a right relationship with the Father, right? So Jesus, Jesus says, get behind me. You know, when you mess up and you fall off to the side or you get in his way, get behind me. And now do these three things. Deny yourself, take up your cross, follow me. And in Jesus, we have this perfectly. Jesus denies himself perfectly. The Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head, right? Foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, right? Uh, he denies himself. He, he could have called down angels uh, to, to strike down all those who were judging him. Um, no, he denies himself. He says, I do nothing and I say nothing other than that which the Father wants me to do. So deny. So Jesus is uh, does this perfectly, denying himself, taking up his cross. He obviously this is exactly what Jesus does for us. And so while we fall short of this all the time, our hope and our trust is in our Savior who has done this perfectly. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow. And Jesus follows the will of the Father. And Jesus has sent the Holy Spirit that we would follow Him. And so then, as we look at, you know, our shortcomings and we look at our Savior who has done all things perfectly, then what are we to do? We are to turn and we are to trust and we are to confess our sins. We are to ask for forgiveness. That's why we do confession and absolution at the beginning of every service, right? Because every week we got garbage to take out. You don't leave the garbage in your house, you get it out, right? So... Um, we confess our sins, we're forgiven, we come to the Lord's table, we receive, Christ, we receive Christ's body and blood for the forgiveness of our sins, and we grow in our walk, and we are transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit through the instruments, through the, the means of grace that God has established for us, through communion, through baptism, right, through confession and absolution, through prayer, through scripture. This is how God uh, calls us and, and, and grows us in our walk with him. And why does this matter? Because then this is our witness in the world. Uh, people will see that we have been with Jesus. And not to our credit, not to our glory, but to his and to his alone. This is the heart of Jesus' ministry. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray God's richest blessings uh, upon your journey following Jesus. Let's go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good night.